Welcome to my channel. I'm Dr. Ari Lau and I'm an educational neuroscientist. Today's video is something that is near and dear to my heart. It is a topic that kickstarted my career in educational neuroscience and it's helped lots of young kids develop a love for reading and language. Today we're going to talk about rhymes. Have you ever wondered why in almost every language, nursery rhymes are one of the earliest things that kids are exposed to? I mean, we have rhymes about lambs, broken eggs, and even a deadly plague that killed millions in medieval Europe. Don't believe me? Read the words in Ring Around a Rosie. But I digress. So, why are rhymes important? Sure, it makes for one heck of a song, but how does it help us learn language? And once again, science has the answer. Studies show that children's rhymes are not just fun and games. They're actually really important for young kids to develop language and reading skills. First, rhymes help children develop the ability to hear and manipulate the sounds in words, a skill we call phonological awareness. Rhymes introduce children to the concept of rhyming words, which share similar sounds at the end. This understanding of rhyme sets the foundation for recognizing and manipulating sounds in words, which is crucial for reading. In fact, phonological awareness is one of the most important skills that predicts whether or not a preschooler might have a reading disability later in the future. As we learn to read proficiently, we engage our phonological processing network that mostly involves certain areas in the left side of our brain. However, Kids with dyslexia often have abnormal activity in these regions. Some intervention studies have also shown that after going through an intensive reading program that focuses on phonological processing, including rhyming activities, some of these kids not only got better at reading, but their left brain language networks started to look more like that of a typical reader. The second skill rhymes help children develop is vocabulary. Rhymes expose kids to a wide range of new words and language patterns, and how we can use these new words in different sentence structures, rhythms, and contexts. In addition to the phonological processing network, rhymes also engage the brain's semantic processing network, which helps us link words to their meanings. Rhymes are an easy way to help kids learn the meaning of words that share similar sounds. Here's another incredible skill that rhymes help kids develop, memory. Rhymes often have a repetitive and predictable structure, which helps in memory and sequencing skills. When we learn to recall and repeat lines of a rhyme, we engage our brain's memory system. Let me give you an example. Here's a list of nonsense words. Filmop, Zipad, Quiblo, Biblo, Gmad, Moped. Which ones do you think you'll remember after this video? Probably Quiblo and Biblo, because these are the ones that rhyme. This is also another reason why it's easier to remember poems and rhyming songs than to recite paragraphs of literature. So learning rhymes at a young age can help kids strengthen their memory and recall new words. So based on the science behind nursery rhymes, Plus, another topic that I won't go into today, I've started a rhyming recipe video series for parents and their kids to watch together. These videos are not only a fun activity for parents and kids to do together, but they also help young kids develop important language and reading skills. So please check them out if you haven't already. I'll be posting more periodically, so subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell for new rhyming recipes. And that's it for today. If you liked my video, please like and subscribe so that YouTube can share my videos to other parents and teachers who might also find my content helpful. Thank you for watching.